Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from my dining room table. Today I am trying Fluff It Marshmallows. You may have seen on social media that I have been trying for a few days now to get to the popular marshmallow dessert shop. Uh, I finally did. Um, and I picked up a few goodies. Uh, today I'm going to be trying the Reese's Pieces Marshmallow um, Treat. It's dipped in Belgian chocolate, has some peanut butter Reese's Pieces on it, and the marshmallow itself. It's not sticky when you touch it, which is really nice. Um, it is a little, a little uh, flaky so that it doesn't stick to you. And a mallow pie, pretty traditional. And then this is supposed to be the owner's favorite dessert. It's called a brownie bomb and it has cherry pie filling, a brownie, of course a marshmallow, and then of course you have the bowl that it sits in. So I am gonna dig in and kind of give you guys my opinion on, on what I think about it. So I'm gonna try the crust really quick. It's just like a cookie crust. It's pretty good. You can definitely taste the burnt part. Well it's not burnt, but like where they toasted the marshmallow inside. Um, Cause if you look at the dessert itself, it's toasted here. So they put the marshmallow in and then they toast it in the bowl itself. So the cookie on it is pretty good. I'm gonna try this little guy. I'm not getting a whole lot of peanut butter. I, it's good, but I would like to see a little bit more peanut butter or of that like um, peanut buttery Reese's Pieces taste that you get when you have Reese's Pieces at the movie theater, I think that that would be a very welcome flavor to it. The marshmallow itself is really good. It's pretty fluffy um, and airy, just like a traditional marshmallow would. Uh, the marshmallow that they used with this is a vanilla marshmallow, and it's really good. So let's try the mallow pie now. It's pretty good. I think they've done a really great job of choosing a solid chocolate to go along with it. Um, the only critique I have on this is that the cookie or the dough that's inside along this bite of the mallow pie here that you can see, it's a little uh, cakey and like crumbly, which is, which is fine. I don't mind it. Um, but for someone who doesn't like my retainer to get full of food, I'm kind of like, uh. Alright, so now they have chocolate all over my hands. Let's try the owner's favorite dish and see how it measures out. Get a little bit of the marshmallow. It's a little difficult to get out. And let's try the cherry. Alright, and we'll top it off with some cookie. So there you can see the bite right there the brownie is really good and I love brownies marshmallow despite the fact that it was a little difficult to get out I did take this to go so I'm, I would assume that in store it would be a little easier to get out of the bowl uh, but the cherry pie topping, I'm not a huge fan of it, and I, I do like cherry pie. The filling itself is, the cherry pie filling that is, is pretty good. But you kind of lose the cherry taste when you take a bite of the brownie and the cookie and the marshmallow and the chocolate drizzle that they put on top of it. So I would have to say that I would get the brownie bomb without the cherry because you don't really get that cherry feeling when you feel the filling taste when you're eating it. It's more just the brownie bomb itself. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. I suggest going there and trying it. Uh, there's definitely a lot more items on the menu that I haven't tried and I do plan to try. So I'll keep you updated on that as well as their famous coffee drinks. I'm sure Nikki will be hitting them up and tasting out one of those as I'm a very traditional espresso kind of girl. 
So thank you for watching me taste all this amazing food. Go check out Fluff It and see what Fluff It dessert you want to try. Thanks. See you later.